Well, Chris, I'll tell you what, since I'm already in here sitting down, I'm just going to start on the inside of this trailer. Is that all right? Yep, yep. That's the perfect place to be. It's where it's where most comfortable here. <laughs> now, what brand is this trailer here? It's a Sunset Park uh, number model number 139. Okay. And so it's made by Sunset, Sunset Park. 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 Okay, I've never heard of that brand. Do you know it's where a, they're out of? It's a pretty small brand. Of, uh, you, where they're from someplace in the Midwest I think that's uh, all right I that's all right exactly where yeah well you know we're mo I mean we uh, our channel is more about our followers than anything else but of course normally when we show videos it's about you know cargo trailer conversions and things like that that right. people have created but I was so intrigued Deb and I both when we pulled into the campground and uh, and you're here with your dad Jerry which we just uh, yep. you know shot a video of his uh, his creation over there and uh, and you were here last year too. I was. And I had yeah. a different different yeah. camper that we found that just didn't really fit the, fit the needs we needed. Right. Uh, for it, and this this guy really does a lot. Pretty much fits everything. I I got a lot of projects in my other other parts of my life, and I just I wanted to go camp, so I bought one instead of yeah. building well, one. Well, that that's okay. That's okay. This thing is really really neat. Very unique. Um, we were. We didn't know exactly what the length of it is, but we're guessing it's around nine foot long. Is yeah, that right? About nine foot. And what would you say, six foot wide? Yeah, I think that's about nine foot six, nine by six. And uh, I'm six foot uh, three, and I went ahead and stepped up in here. I do have to kind of bend my head down a little bit as far as the height is concerned. But uh, like if it, we were just going out for the weekend or something, uh, this would be perfect for something like that. And what's neat about it too, I think you were telling me it weighs what? Uh, you told me, let's say it again. 1800 to 1900, somewhere in that, in that range. All righty. So, with so, no water or anything in it. Yeah, so it can be towed with a lot of, a lot of different vehicles. Yep, yeah, pretty much any, any ish, you know, SUV kind of thing. We pull it with a Jeep. We're, we're Jeep, big Jeep people, so yeah. uh, we pull ours with our Jeep. Now it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, it's it's kind of based loosely on, I would say, like a teardrop, only with a little bit more room in it. Mm -hmm. And we're getting ready to step outside here in a minute and show the the kitchen area, yep. which instead of being out the back like you'd see on a teardrop, it's off to the side. Yep. And uh, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. But this bed is a full size bed, right here, while I'm sitting here. And you got a back door back there, and this is also a Murphy bed. Is that right? That's correct. Chris? We we, we uh, store things underneath it, all you know, especially while we're, we're on the, on the way here, we store everything under there. Maybe a little bit tall, camp gear and tables and canopies and all that stuff. Um, that's uh, you know one of the big reasons we bought it is the ability to store some things in there. So uh, we, we like that a lot. The bed's real comfortable, uh, we're pretty versatile in what we can get to and from camp, just depending on what we're doing with it. I think this is the first uh, level of this of this brand that you can stand up in. Back okay. to your earlier point, uh, they do make a smaller one that's more like that teardrop, but it, you can't stand in it. And we like to be able to stand. Well, in there. if I was looking for something like this that I wanted to buy all ready to go, this this is the one I would start looking at right here that's for sure um, and I'm actually sitting on a nice little bench here I'll show that on the way out I'm mm -hmm. going to do it like that but I'm assuming that there's storage underneath this little bench a little bit well. of storage under there that's also where the furnace is so oh, okay that kind of eliminates some of the storage right. but uh, and as far as appliances go let's see what we'll see what we got okay you got a sink right here this is towards the front of the trailer this is your countertop all along here and uh, is this TV? Was this TV That's part? That's actually of the a, monitor, a computer monitor okay. that I uh, I uh, been working here. I uh, had to had to do some things that I forgot my the cord that goes to that. So it's not, <laughs> it's not working. But yeah, we're hoping to have a TV. There's actually a, a TV uh, mounting spot up there. I see. Uh, we just haven't uh, we haven't done it yet. But that is in the works. We right. just haven't done it yet. Yeah. Uh, microwave in here. Uh, there is the propane heater in the sink. Uh, it's Florida. We live in Florida. Um, we have the dehumidifier because it's Florida and it's humid here. So. Oh yeah, yeah, that's something you got to think about. And of course, if we don't need to open the door, but the potty is just right inside yeah, this. The potty's in right here. here. It's also got a, sh uh, uh, a curtain rod, uh, uh -huh. or not a curtain rod, a, a, a clothes rack rod. You, know, you can use it for that as well. But it's also got the uh, the regular toilet with the black tank. Okay. Um, 18 or I think 18 or so gallon uh, water and about the same, uh, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, of the two but sure. those got black tank. Let me ask you something while I'm sitting in here. Uh, this is a Murphy bed. 
but uh, and you do have access through the back door if the Bur Murphy bed is folded up you can walk in through the back door of course what you're using it for right now is you got storage underneath the bed mm -hmm. and that's where you have access to the storage is through the back door right. do you find T just tell me, do you find that you leave the Murphy bed down most of the time? Or, most or of the time because, you know, we've got camp things on underneath and, and then you've got blankets and your f clothes and all that that fit better there. You don't want them kind of mingling together. Right. So when we're Typically when we're going down the road, unless we, we haven't uh, put bikes or anything in here yet. I think if we had bikes or something like that, it would, yeah. it's got the little uh, right. uh, brackets on the floor there that you could you know, hook your bike to. I don't know how, how much weight I'd want to put in it, but you can put bicycles or a kayak. Yeah, you could, put a, you could put bikes in here. I can see you maybe putting a small scooter in here, yeah. you yeah. know, something yeah. like that. Uh, did it happen to come with any kind of a ramp? No, um, there's actually a second version of this. That back door, actually, they would make a drawbridge version of that back really? door, and it's a little wider. But yeah. we just did, we don't have anything that we we felt that would would fit that need. Sure. Um, so we didn't we didn't get that. It would be nice to have the drawbridge, but uh, we we were more concerned with being able to have that back door open, and let breeze in there, instead of having to have you know a, a magnetic screen or something back there. So I, we, the door worked better for us. I agree, and it does have a window in the door too, and I'm assuming that the window opens as well. Uh, don't, yes. Those doors don't actually, but really? it's got the screens like this. So. Oh, okay, it's got a screen like that. All right, well, yeah, yeah that that's even better. Yeah, really, that's even better. Uh, the uh, it's got the fogged kind of uh, glass in it that's just okay. uh, in there. All right, well, let me step outside sure, sure. here, and as I step out, I'm going to spin around and show everybody this bench here. And there's whoops, I knocked the. And then there's the bench, right there. Now I'm going to see if I can step out backwards. <laughs> All right, now this is the, the what you'd refer to in America as the passenger side. Yes. <laughs> in America. and uh, But this is the outdoor kitchen, and that is just cooler than cool. Yeah, this is really what sold uh, my wife and I on this, uh, is we don't want to come to camp and, and cook inside. And with the, the bigger versions of these, they have, you know, the, uh, the kitchen on the inside, and, you know, I can kick, cook in the house inside I, I want to cook outside so well you're going to just build up a lot of heat inside cooking you know yeah. especially in a smaller unit like that so yeah and it makes yeah. it smell like whatever you just had for dinner <laughs> i understand <laughs> um it's a 12 volt kit uh 12 volt fridge uh with freezer uh which is nice uh when it's on batteries uh it, it also charges when you're driving down the or uh keeps the uh, fridge running while you're running down the road um, underneath of here we have uh two burners uh propane fed by the uh propane in the front and in, in, uh, the sink uh, storage in here and uh, storage up top and uh, we're really happy with the outdoor kitchen part of things um, fantastic wife and I are both diminutive so we have to have a step stool to uh, to get up there but uh, yeah. someone six three wouldn't have had to do that uh, yeah so. let me see let me see here I'm six three let me see yeah I could work up here but don't tell Deb that I'd be able to cook on this. Right. we'll yeah. keep that secret yeah I'll just keep that a secret um, and uh, I see you got some stereo speakers there. Yes, it's got the two-zone uh, stereo um, inside. It's got two speakers out, outside. It's got two speakers. Uh, not powerful enough, but nice to get some tunes while you're at camp to uh, keep the keep the nature sounds away. I guess. Uh, gotcha. Now, even though this is a small rig, what impresses me is they went ahead and put stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, that's very important. And the next thing that I really appreciate, because I'm a real stickler for this kind of stuff, especially since, you know, Deb and I built two trailers now, uh, the clearance you have here. I mean, this thing sits nice and high off the ground, mm -hmm. which uh, really makes it easy at some campsites. I'm sure. I'm you know, sure, yeah. make, makes a big difference at some campsites. And it uh, looks like you've got a propane outlet right down here. Yep, yep. We uh, usually feed it into, uh, we have a camp uh, chef uh, two burner as well to add to that part if we need it. Uh, this is his. Uh, uh, Blackstone. Uh, he's selling us on having the Blackstone, um, and then we've got the outdoor kitchen that uh, is kind of overflow from what this outdoor kitchen does storage-wise. Yeah. And that looks like the small 18-inch one. Is that right? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. I think that's right. Yeah. Well, Deb and I was looking because we don't have a whole lot of room to haul stuff, uh, but uh, we were thinking about getting the smallest one, which. Is, is an 18 mm -hmm. and uh, now that I see one I'm thinking that would be just perfect for us I could probably find room for that one somewhere yeah, yeah. so uh, we, we've had a lot of folks fix us, fix us uh, 
meals on their Blackstone and man, uh, Clean so now we're one one. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, though that's cool. Well, let's step on around here sure, to the sure. to the back and show them the back door. The back door uh, accessible from the back side of the Murphy bed. Uh, we we'll keep our storage oil, all of our stuff underneath of there. Uh, yeah. Especially for stuff you want to get too quickly, but you don't necessarily want it to have it out of camp, like the coffee makers have done that. After, I understand. After morning time, so put that away. Yeah. Um, and then if you anything you want to throw in there, and this is where you would load up a bicycle or a kayak, I suppose, if you wanted to. And I see that's your. It uh, looks like that's your fresh water tank uh, fill right there. Yep. Uh, right. Fresh water here, and then also if you had a city water connection here, and this is the the heater for the. It's got the uh, the little uh, for whatever uh, capacity holding tank for the okay. heater. Alrighty. Um, now I want to show everybody over here on this side this uh, outside shower arrangement. Of course, uh, I know you don't have it together, but I'm sure they'll get the, yeah, the, the, the gist of what how it works. When we put a shower curtain on here. Uh -huh. And you got an outdoor shower. So you just fold the hoop up and hang your curtain around it. And of course, right there Showers is where your right shower here. head would yeah. be, right there. And that is just really neat. I can, and here again, because you've got all this clearance and everything, you can get into some uh, some fairly rough country with this thing and get yeah. back in the in the woods. Yeah. The height sure. would be what we would be more concerned with, uh, as opposed to the height here. So yeah, we we do our jeep a lot, so we could, we go to places that are dirt roads and uh, places where clearance is important. So sure. yeah, we like that a lot. Uh, it stands about as tall as our jeep does all said and done fantastic and I see you've even got a, a rack up on top as well yeah the, the rack I, uh, I, I suppose kayaks uh, my plan for it is gonna be so to, it's already got one panel on it um, uh -huh. which is not gonna be sufficient I don't think for my needs so I'm probably gonna use that rack as, as my solar uh, that'll work means, so. that'll work and then here up front I uh, like this extended tongue with this uh, with this uh, extra carrying capacity up here as well yeah, we put our generator on there. Uh, the the spare is also underneath of there. We keep that. Uh, it keeps it safe. Um, we like that. The, our last trailer didn't have any kind of storage up there, and it really lim limited us on what we had to do. We had to put our generator inside the camper while we're driving down the road. We oh care wow! That. Yeah. So this was important to us, and uh, yeah, this is uh, it, it fits everything that we needed it to. Uh, in, in a fairly small footprint, which, which we were also very appreciative of. Cause I like the color too. Uh, yeah, and uh, that was a, <laughs> uh, the final selling point for us. Our Jeep has got a lot of orange on it, so it yeah. matches our Jeep nicely. So well, it, it stands out when you're going down the road. You know, yeah, you people are going to see you. Yeah, yeah people, <laughs> you people know? see us coming for sure. Yeah, when we had our red trailer. And we don't have that happen so much with the gray trailer that we have now. But when we had the red trailer, we couldn't get over it. We'd be meeting somebody on the road, and they would get way over. And all we could figure was that red maybe looked like it was a red ambulance coming right. down the road or something like that. <laughs> Must be an emergency vehicle. Yeah, right. yeah, but they would get way over. So they always gave us plenty of room. And that's something we, uh, we thought was kind of funny in a way, you mm -hmm. know. But we also appreciated the fact that people would tended to you know pull over yeah, further yeah. off the side of the road so yeah they'll be able to see you with this thing that's for sure yep yeah you will definitely be noticed going down the road well that thing is just cuter than could be the design on that is uh really nice uh i can see somebody getting their wheels turning and doing a cargo conversion based yep. on this floor yep. plan yep. you know yeah it yeah, would be sure. real easy to take a cargo trailer and build a design similar to this yeah yeah i was actually sure thinking enough. about that uh last night how how the side could be made into oh yeah in a cargo trailer to make the, the outdoor oh, kitchen yeah still, uh, yeah for us that would be well anyway uh chris thank you so much for taking the time to well, show thanks us for these. having us we, and, we really uh, we love being here and uh we look forward to the next one well we look forward to seeing you at the next one as well. We'll be there. We'll be there. And you know, by the way, I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Figured that look good on camera. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to end it this way. And you know what we always say. This is Bill and this is Chris with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And we are not camping. We are living. Absolutely. Thank you so thank much, you. Chris. Thank you. Appreciate All righty. Bye-bye now.